No one saw this coming. With all the talk of all-star point guard Steve Nash going to the Knicks or the Raptors, he is reportedly headed to the Lakers instead. Ricky Manning Jr., who wants the Edison High head coaching job, by the way. Want to plug him for that. Your give final it to thoughts? Him. Give it to him, Corey. Give it to him. <laughs> give it to him. And then put him on the non-conference schedule. Why don't you? Trisha Ford is the fourth head women's softball coach in Bulldog history. We'll see more of her down the line. Yeah, I picked Niners Ravens <laughs> at the beginning of the year. So you like a hard bowling in New Orleans? I, I would love to see that. All right, there we go. Those are our picks, Niners and Ravens. Now, your system at Fresno State, very effective, dribble drive motion, scored a lot of points, lots of threes. Can you do the same thing at Clovis East? Then again, it's hard to think about all that when you just lost 43 to 10. Jeremy Lin again. Again, man, Lin I like again. it. That was all net. <laughs> that boy is good. Can yeah. you do those uh, sound effects again for Lin? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is ridiculous. <laughs> 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 the King's defense was he went, he like went around. The dolls will be available in stores in April. He has hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Cam and I are back. A tie football game. Cam hates that stuff. It's Pop Warner. Yeah, Rams Niners. Time for our sideline spotlight brought to you by Fiat of Fresno. Alex Smith here on the run, going to be leveled by Jolon Dunbar, but he stayed in the game long enough to throw a 14-yard touchdown pass to Michael Crabtree, but Smith on the sideline uh, complaining of some blurred vision. He left the game with a concussion, and the Rams came back when he left the game. Colin Kaepernick did play well, though. Sam Bradford, Austin Pettis will go to overtime. Rams didn't score on the first drive. David Akers, 41-yarder for the win. Oh, he pushes it wide. Don't see that very often. Game ends in a 24-24 tie. The first tie game since 08. Niners 6-2-1. and one. They host the Bears next Monday. Here's Jim Harbaugh. What did Herm Edwards say? You play to win <laughs> the game. Right, you don't play to tie the game. <laughs> play to win. And if you don't win, then you lose. You good, don't tie. Good thing we didn't ask Donovan McNabb about ties. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Remember he didn't know? Yeah. The thought, game's thought ended they, in ties? They what happens in the, the Super Bowl? Bowl right? Yeah. Man. Now, the Raiders wish they would have tied today. They were in Baltimore taking on the Ravens. This looked good early. They're down 20 to 3 until Carson Palmer hooks up 55 yards to Darius Hayward Bay. You don't see Ed Reed miss a lot of tackles, but he missed one there, Cam. And then after that, oh, yeah, Joe Flacco, uh, 48 yards to Torrey Smith. Oh, the Raiders have White got Ron Bartell back, but at cornerback, but he's obviously a little rusty. And then the fake field goal at 41 and 7, 41 to 17. Sam Cook fakes it anyway. Raiders lose 55-20. <laughs> they tie a record for the most points allowed in the game in franchise history. Dennis Allen results in something like that. <laughs> Look, in the Al Davis era, it, this never happened in the Al Davis era where the Raiders defense gives up back-to-back 40-plus -back point games. So that's something. Yeah. The Raiders are three and six. They host the Saints next week. They just beat unbeaten Atlanta. It's looking bad for Oakland. All right, Chargers and the Bucks. In Tampa, Denario Alexander, great effort here. Look at him, the catch from Phil Rivers. He refuses to go down, keeps his feet and goes 80 yards for the touchdown here for San Diego. They look good early. Ryan Matthews, he didn't score, but he's getting leveled by Quincy Black. But Black got the brunt of the hit. He was carted off the field on this hit on Matthews. Matthews did get up. Black, we hope he's going to be all right. Rivers has made a lot of mistakes this year. Here's a really bad one. Picked off by Leonard Johnson, an 82-yard pick six. Chargers lose 34-24. They're now four and five. They're at the Broncos and Peyton Manning next Sunday. Not a lot of flashy stats for our hometown heroes playing in the National Football League today. Sponsored by Fresno Petty R. Here we go. David Osbury, two catches, 15 yards. Matt Giordano from Buchanan High in Fresno City. He had three tackles, also a concussion. Michael Kendricks, Hoover High, seven tackles and a sack. Robert Malone, the former Bulldog, seven punts, averaging 46 yards per punt. Looking good for the Jets and their loss to Seattle. Matthews, you see his game there. Uh, 76 total yards for him. Former Bulldog Garrett McIntyre had three tackles. And Marlon Moore, the former Bulldog, had three tackles on special teams. He also rushed one time for one yard. Our Heroes Comics on your sidelines, candidates for Player of the Week. There they are for Week 11. You see Kyrie McGee, Brandon Steele, Micaiah Quick, and Alec Gamboa. Vote for them through Wednesday on CBS 47. TV. Still to come on Sunday, sidelines, we will hand out our game balls. Did Frank Gore, the Niners, get one? We'll let you know. Just on cue, they give it to him. He gets to it. The ball comes free. The ball comes free. No whistle. And Fresno is off to the races. Plus, Travis Brown cracks our Takumi's top five plays of the week. We'll be right back. George. Yeah, Ken, call it the house that Jim built. Jim Sweeney is an incredible coach, an incredible person. I never had the privilege of covering a Jim Sweeney-led football team, but as a young man, I got to watch his Bulldogs from the stands. And as I got into my career, I got to know Jim Sweeney, the man, just an incredible person, more than a football coach for sure. For 19 seasons, Jim Sweeney was Fresno State football. 
and many would tell you he still is the heart and soul of the program. He's the Bulldogs all-time wins leader with 144, and he has 200 wins total. Sweeney's Bulldogs won eight conference championships, five bowl games, and they were ranked in the top 25 in seven of those seasons. Look at all the players run into the end zone. The Bulldogs won five of their seven bowl games under Sweeney with the biggest one over USC in the 1992 Freedom Bowl, one of the biggest wins in program history, if not the biggest. I gotta get into the half, try to get this thing turned around now. What do you need? I gotta get moving. You got it? Coach, thank you very much. Thank Best you. of luck. All right, thanks. But you can't measure Jim Sweeney on just wins and losses alone. He was great with the media, a quote machine, never a dull moment with him. He was also a player's coach, master motivator, a dedicated family man who very much considered his football team his family too, and fiercely loyal to Fresno State. I will miss coaching, but uh, the most difficult thing is not seeing uh, you, my friends, but uh, visiting with my players this morning was very traumatic. Never did we have a lower rendition of I Got That Bulldog Spirit. Coach Sweeney retired in 1996 wearing that bright red Bulldog jacket, leaving behind a legacy that will live on forever. 35 of his players were drafted by NFL teams. On November 15, 1997, Bulldog Stadium's field was named after Coach Sweeney, but it's been his the whole time anyway, right? It didn't matter to him that he was a five-time conference coach of the year. I'm sure he would tell you his players made him the coach he was. But make no mistake, Jim Sweeney turned boys into men, men into fathers, and fathers into successful men outside of football. Although he'll be missed forever, Jim Sweeney gave all of us plenty of memories to smile about, and especially his favorite song. I got the We'll remember that song forever. A public memorial service will be held on Saturday, February 16th at 2 p.m. right here at Bulldog Stadium, right here on Jim Sweeney Field. I'm George Takata, live at Bulldog Stadium for CBS 47 on your side. Thanks and aloha once again from the Bulldogs practice headquarters here at the University of Hawaii. Hard to talk serious since I'm holding the fruit of the island, but the Bulldogs are indeed getting a lot more serious. Curfew is earlier, players are off limits to the media as we are now less than two days away from the Hawaii Bowl. We're starting to get into game mode, and, and when we're in Fresno, we want our guys in bed at 11. We don't have bed check out there to do it, but we will tonight, and, and just start getting our guys ratcheted up a little bit for the game. I'm pleased with where our guys are. You know, I mean, I, the whole year, though, it's been the same. They've been the same in spring ball and in camp. Uh, their focus has been really good here. So, I mean, I, they've done it every day throughout the year, and they've done it here. Will there be maybe, without giving anything away, there be something different that maybe we haven't seen all year that you have? ready for them we got some things in our back pocket so uh, we'll see if it the time is right to pull them out or not you think philip could catch that if that was flung at him i think philip could catch this without a doubt i think he'd catch it and then eat it faster than any safety in the country football's kind of shaped like a pineapple there you yes, think sir. you can fling that thing around uh no it's a little heavy for me <laughs> Derek could probably throw it not me how you like that pineapple looks looks like the trophy though yeah it does kind of you know kind of a fresh version of it maybe you know if we can win the trophy we can slide that in there so it at least you know smells nice it's not as if the players are going to stop having fun quarterback Derek Carr told me he may go surfing again today and the players are scheduled to have a luncheon and play arcade games tomorrow but they're all anticipating and excited about the real game on Monday as for this thing it's part of my dinner tonight with the Bulldogs in Hawaii on their bowl trip I'm George Takata for CBS 47 on your side Welcome back, everyone. There are a handful of players with Valley ties who have won the Super Bowl. Trent Dilfer, Stephen Baker, David Carr, Matt Giordano, and Bear Pasco immediately come to mind. But there's only one who's a three-time Super Bowl champion, and she has the hardware to prove it. Fresno's Brittany Bailey was on the San Francisco 49ers Gold Rush squad for seven years. And in three of those years, they won the Super Bowl. It was an incredible experience. I loved the 49ers. I've always been a 49er fan, so getting to cheer for them, getting to go to Super Bowls, it was unbelievable. The Gold Rush! The 49ers won Super Bowls 23, 24, and 29 when Bailey was on the Gold Rush. The girls got watches after Super Bowl 23, but Niners owner Eddie DeBartolo changed things up the next two times. I was at uh, Pebble Beach doing uh, a golf tournament, and Eddie DeBartolo Jr. was there, and he asked us what we would want for 
them winning the Super Bowl and we asked if we could have rings and he said yeah you can have the women's rings so we ended up getting them we never thought we were going to get them it was so exciting during her gold rush career Bailey received an autograph from Joe Montana and took pictures with Jerry Rice and even current 49ers head coach Jim Harbaugh but interaction with the players was kept to a minimum we really didn't have a lot of interaction with the players. Because you can't date them. That's rule number one. Yeah, right? for the 49ers, you cannot date a player. Uh, you can date players from other teams, but you just cannot date someone who is on the 49ers. So. Did anybody break those rules? Uh, no comment. <laughs> Bailey has been reliving her gold rush days thanks to her 49ers finally making it back to the Super Bowl. Memories, she says, that will last a lifetime. It's kind of surreal that 18 years later it's taken them that long to go back. I just feel so fortunate that I got to be a part of three Super Bowls. I mean, it's a huge part of sports history. So you're a three-time Super Bowl champion? Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> now, Brittany's daughter, McKenna, wants to try out for the Gold Rush this year, and they both went to Clovis West High School, and McKenna just graduated from Clovis West, or she's going to this summer. So like mother, like daughter, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, there are two People from Fresno, two girls from Fresno, on this year's 49ers squad. So, so they came close to getting a ring. Just missed out. Just missed out. Yeah.